Hey everyone, welcome to Metal Guns and Outdoors. Today we're going to do a versus. Versus of the X's. We have the Glock 19X versus the Sig X Carry. We're going to see which one of these I can shoot best and which one runs the best. Figured it'd be a good comparison. Both of them are X's. Both of them are a nine millimeter. So I think this would be a cool little shoot. Uh, we're gonna be shooting the uh, PMC bronze, 115 grain full metal jacket. I have 10 loaded up in each firearm. And I also have another mag in each loaded with five. We're gonna do a speed shoot on. We'll see how that turns out. Got a fresh paper target, and her steel's just waiting to be shot. Let's see what we can do. We'll uh, jump on the Glock first and see what it'll uh, give us today. And I have done individual videos on each one of these firearms, so if you'd like to roll through the playlist and catch that, you see how they disassemble and everything about them, and my first test shooting and stuff like that. All right. First up the Glock, mag goes in well, chambers well. They're saying for a Glock, it does feel pretty good in my hand. Let's uh, get us an alien. All right. Stretch on out there and get our big white plate on the right. Go to the next one to the left of that. Oh, and I missed it. Going up there and hit big yellow. Got it. Stretch on up there with the green one with the white X on it. Not sure if I hit that one or not, guys. Go up here to this pink tank on the stand. Not it. Just double tap. Try a spinner there beside the pink tank. And we're empty. Would like to have one more shot to see if I could hit that silver and make that spinner pop down. All right, well, Glock fared very, pretty well, but I did hit well with it. All right, next up is our SIG. Let's see what she's made of and how I can shoot her today. Well, hello, alien. Just that other white one. Go to big yellow. We definitely got that. Go to the big green with the X. Yeah, I got that one. Pink tank double tap. Alright. See if I can hit that silver and knock another two down. Outstanding. And we're out. Well, guys, y'all do the judging which one of these treated me best on that. Say, I got five in each one of these. See how much more ammo I got here. Okay, I got five more rounds. We're going to do the speed shoot on them. And then I'm going to put two rounds in each and we'll do some paper. First up is our Glock 19X. Good looking handgun, I have to give it that. Alright, let's speed shoot her. Let's catch us some fans there. Done well. No issues, no jams. 
spit them right out of there. Next up is our SIG, which I mean, that is a good looking firearm. Now right, let's speed shoot that bad boy. Done very well, no jams, no issues. Now I gotta say though, y'all know me, I call them as a seal. On the speed shoot, it seemed like the Glock was a shade more controllable than the SIG in my hands. But that's just me. Well, both these magazines just slide out very nice. I mean, you can tell when you're shooting nice firearms, everything seems to function well without issues. All the controls work good, and that is a very nice thing. All right, SIG's hot. Glock's hot. Let's go to the paper. I'm going to shoot the uh, Glock first. We're going for the center bullseye. All right, take your time, see if we can get a really good hit. Last time I shot this pistol, I was shooting to the left. Oh, just a shade to the left. Just a little low left. I had to pull the trigger. It was enough for me to get that close right there. The sights are pretty close. Alright guys, now for the sink. Put that first shot right where that Glock bullet went. Wow, I couldn't do that again if I had to. Alright, let's try it again. Well, just below it. Alright, both firearms are clear. Alright guys, well the uh, Paper targets seem to tell the tale. Myself, I did shoot the SIG a little better on that target. Uh, two shots there, the SIG and the Glock were exactly the same. But apparently I pulled the trigger on that second shot on that Glock with that low left. Of course on the SIG I may have pulled a little too. Still in the center, but it a little low. But not bad at all. Not bad. Both handguns shot fantastically. I have no complaints with either one of these. I just wanted to bring them out. Like I say, and do a versus on them because this is a big thing when you're talking about the X series of pistols. This is the stuff either it was for the military trial or the military actually did choose it and use it in service. So these things are made a little different and have a lot of extras done to them versus your basic civilian models. So getting the two X's out, in my opinion, was just really cool. I enjoyed shooting both of them. And as you see, both of them done well. You know, y'all choose which one you like the best, which one you think that I done the best with. And throw it down there in the comments. And also, if you got any questions or any suggestions, please ask them and I'll get right to them. And if you're able, hit us up on our Patreon page and show some support there. And if you would, please hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you all so very much, and I hope you have a fantastic day.